Hello friend, welcome to the channel solution. In today's experimental video, we are going to study about the another in silico method of pharmacological experiment and for that we are considering an object that is to study the effect of drug on the ciliary motility of frog esophagus. Trust me, this experiment is going to be very important and very interesting too. So let's start the practical with the understanding of basic interface of this simulation software. First of all, we have to study the direction which is going to be observed by the student while experimenting on the XFORM software. Direction says, instill drug one by one and observe their effect on the ciliary motility of frog esophagus. Note the interaction between drug. First of all, you have to keep a rough copy or observation copy so that you may note the reading because this is very important to conclude the result. So that means direction says, you have to select a drug then you have to instill the drug on the esophagus of the frog then after you have to observe the effect so we have few drugs available here these are ringer acetylcholine physostigmine and atropine i will come to this point also so this is what this was the direction point next to the direction point you will see the help menu where you will see a instruction once you have done the direction you will you have to follow the instruction one by one so need not to worry about the procedure the app will going to explain you by itself so as per the instruction it says pick a seed but we have not instilled the drug yet so we are not going to pick a seed next tab is drug selection and history that means we have to observe the drug which is given in the drug tab and then after we have to study the history that means which drug we have applied on the esophagus of the frog so these are the drug as i have told you a ringer that is frog ringer solution that means a physiological salt solution then after we are having acetylcholine physostigmine and atropine so we need to go one by one then after you will see the instill drug option you have to select the drug then you have to click on this button that means you have to click on the still drug option then only drug will start acting and then after you will observe the number of frog if this experiment is the first experiment you will observe this as a frog number one but once you have clicked the new button or new tab as like the previous practicals then the number of frog will be changed to two or three as per your next selection parameter and this is the history tab we have selected ringer so this is the ringer by default first of time then after you will select the another drug then those drug will be listed inside this history so this was a drug selection and history tab next to this one we have also a button that's called exit button under this exit tab you will find next it means the question answer section will be begin then it is a return that means if you want to go back just to this this point you will get to the backpack section return to the menu page then next one is table i'm not going to click on the table but if you click the table you will feel, you will see the observation window where you can see what is the effect of that particular drug next one is new if you want to create a new experimental uh, animal or you want to select the new frog for the experimental then you have to click on the new button so next to the this exit tab you will observing the clock button this is very important and very crucial for this practical point of view the next button is clock that means it's a stopwatch at the initial presses this is zero 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 that means no counting has been started just next to the beside to the clock stopwatch you are uh, you are having an option to start the clock so let me click on this button if you start this button the clock will start counting that means the stopwatch will be continued to the next moving point then if you are observing the point is over then you have to click on stop button so once you will click this button the counting will be stopped now we need to do again or with the another drug then we have to reset it or restart it so this restart or restart button will make it zero as like the earlier one so next is setup tab setup tab as you can see this is a frog and the frog has been uh, tied up over the experimental protocol methodology according to the tray dissection tray i must say and the right one is zoom view this is the esophagus of the frog so as per the zoom view you can see this window so this is a zoom or enlarge view then under that you have to find you will find the current drug name that is ringer solution last drug was none because we have not applied any drug so that is a clearly history that's no drug has been applied in the past so this was the basic interface now let's begin the practical by selecting one drug at a time so first of all i'm going to select the ringer solution then i have to click on the instill drug be careful and be focused on your screen once i have still the drug as you can see in the setup tab drug is instilled to the esophagus now instructions said pick a seed just focus on the below on my cursor you are having some some kind of seed over there so we need to click on the left mouse and we have to drag it toward the esophagus once i have clicked 
instruction change and it's saying drag and place it on the iso figures so after clicking i am going to drag it as you can see on the cursor i am having a seed over here so just drag the seed over this starting point and leave it but be careful once you have left the mouse just start the stop button uh, just click the start clock button this is very crucial because time may be fluctuation may be affect the reading so once i have left this start the clock so observe two thing you are having a clear view that a seed which is in yellow color getting down towards the end side so in this circle the this circle is a start point and this is this boundary or line is end point so you have to start the stopwatch at the start point and you have to stop the stopwatch at the end point and you have to note the exact time which is taken by the particular drug so you have to write it i'm not going to write it down because it's uh, your responsibility to find out the result as per the observation so the seed is going to fall down and once it will cross the border line i will click on the stop clock button so this is stop button so see the motility of that particular seed is found to move at 39 second so this is the 39 second noted down ringer solution allow the movement of seed to the 39 second this was a effect of the ringer solution now reset it and again change the drug after ringer solution i am going to select the style colon the procedure will be the same instill the drug the drug will applied over the esophagus of the frog then after i have to pick a seed by clicking a mouse and then i have to drag the seed over the starting point and leave it and just start the stopwatch so see again the drug is going to fall down and we have to note at which time the drug completely fall down to the boundary line that will be the motility time lower the time or laser the time more the motility maximum time indicate lower motility so the motility is inversely proportional to the speed of the drug which is fall down from the starting point toward the end point so once i have selected acetylcholine instill that particular drug applied over the frog esophagus and note down the time so the drug that means effect is 28 second 28 second is lesser than the previous one that was 39 second so we can say acetylcholine increase the ciliary motility of the frog esophagus that is indicating by the reducing the time so we're going to do the same process with the next drug and we have first of all we have to click on the reset button then go for the menu and select the physostigmine instill the drug select a seed drag the seed toward the starting point leave it down start the clock and wrote down the time which it is taken to fall down from the starting point toward the end point and that effect will be the called the effect of the drug which is physostigmine so motility is very very important especially in case of esophagus and other organ which is associated to the digestive system so the seed is about to fall down to the last point and just click on the stop button so see 19 second that is very fast so the effect of physostigmine is increasing the motility of the esophagus that is why seed took very less time to fall down from the start point to the end point that is just 19 second which is very very low as compared to the previous two drugs so let's do the same with the next drug reset button is clicked by me now select the next drug that is the last one that is atropine instill the drug click on the seed button drag the seed toward the starting point leave it down start the clock button and start noting down the time required to fall down the seed from the starting point point toward the end point and this is the last one you have i hope you have noted all the readings so that you may calculate which drug is having more effect on the ciliary movement of the frog esophagus that is why we may conclude a result and this one is very very important for your basic practical included in the v pharmacy syllabus so it is taking a larger time than the previous one which was 19 second it is now 27 second it may be variable whenever you will apply the effect apply the drug on the frog with the help of simulation software the effect will be approximately same but the exact data second will not be there so i am going to click on the stop clock and that took 40 seconds that means atropines is having low efficacy towards the ciliary movement on the frog esophagus that means slow down the time less the motor motility of the drug this was a simple yet very important practical for your syllabus I hope you have understand the basic point of this experiment as well as principle of the experiment. Now if you click the table button you will see a table but that table does not belong to your experiment that is a just common ready to use fixed parameter table that will show how to make your table. You have to click it whenever you want to get the knowledge or concept for how to plot a table but I am not going to click it down. So this was a simple practical and that is all for the day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Namaskar. Take care.